A 1400 acre community that's just starting to take shape in West Charlotte. The River District has been years in the making with another decade of construction on the way. But today we got a private tour of the site where Crescent Communities is breaking ground on the first of many projects. Tucked away between Charlotte Douglas International Airport and the Catawba River is a site that's already been years in the making. The community out here uh, was really utility starved. So there were no water, wastewater, any of those utilities, even electric for that matter. Crescent Communities is developing a one-stop shop community that combines housing with office, retail, and a taste of nature. It's called the River District. Now, this is a true master plan community, so about 1,400 acres. And with that, uh, there will be various components, retail, commercial, office, multifamily, and single family. To go through all of its features would take a documentary. It's uh, a little bit like, you know, which is your favorite child. But here are some of the highlights. The River District will feature a two acre sustainable urban farm, which will have a store in the amenity center. West Row will act as a miniature downtown with shops and walking and bike paths. There will also be a public park that touches the Catawba River. But one of the most unique aspects of this development is its commitment to the environment. This is very uncommon and very exciting. So no, um, this, is, this is a first for me and a first for a lot of my peers. Um, in environmental organizations, we are not used to a developer to reach out and invite environmental organizations. Hammerhead worms. That sounds like a legitimate red tail. Yeah, that sounds like a red tail. Pressing Communities has reserved 500 acres of green space and partnered with conservationists to conduct a herpetology study on species that call this place home. They observed 240 different animal species and around 220 plant species. An example of a species of greatest conservation need is something that we love, an eastern box turtle. The turtle that we see in our backyards um, at the park is actually having a population decrease right now. The goal is to balance the need for housing in Charlotte, all while preserving what's still there. We have executed contracts with four builders. Uh, DRB uh, is one builder. Uh, uh, David Weekly Homes uh, is the second. Saucy Burbank, the third and Toll Brothers uh, is the fourth. They've also had conversations with international companies considering relocating their corporate headquarters on site. They've had 50 acres reserved for what they're hoping will be a CMS elementary and middle school. In the morning, you could be on your kayak and in the afternoon, you could be on a flight because of the proximity. It's really just a great opportunity to live in proximity to everything you love and everything that's important. So the first lot deliveries to builders will happen in December of this year with the model homes beginning construction in January. They're starting construction on the first multifamily complex in about two weeks. I